welcome to the MBA show episode number 334. I am your host Norman Sanjo. It's another solo week this week because well, most of the guys are either busy or at a convention. This week we have the Alicorn Express in Australia. So, yay for you guys who don't know, they have Michelle Kreber and also Brad Griffin. So, yay! Awesomeness. If you're there, that's awesome. Uh, unfortunately for me, I'm not, so that kind of sucks. But anywho, but anywho, I have some news for you this week, and, well, it's... <clears throat> I really hate to go here, but it's Netflix again. And, ayah caramba, I thought I was done, but they pulled me back in. So, anywho, um, this time, All of season 8 has been added to New Zealand and Australia Netflix. So, that's awesome. For you guys who don't know, um, the ponies have finished showing all of their episode in Australia and some part of the other world. I don't really remember. But still, season 8 has been aired across the world, quote-unquote. So, if you guys are watching the American release... Uh, that will be, well, as of this week, episode 22, What Lies Beneath. So, uh, what can I say? It's awesome that season 8 is on Netflix in Australia and New Zealand. But for us, personally, we, yeah, we got nothing. Like, uh, we have to wait for the American release or the iTunes release, most generally. And, and since the MBS showed us our reviews a bit late, It doesn't really affect us that much. Still, it's awesome for the Australians because in terms of video games, they don't get a lot. Yep. So, um, for them to get ponies early, that is awesome. That is awesome. So anyway, let's move on to the next news. And the next news is DVDs. I know you like DVDs. I like DVDs too. So, what's the best gift? Well, if you ask me... <laughs> I'm on a magic kick right now, so some good expensive magic cards, but <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, uh, talking about gifts, uh, a pony DVD is going to be released. I think I mentioned this before. It was what, uh, the Christmas special DVD? And this one here is a bit special. Usually I don't really report on DVDs that much, I, unless it's a box set or a really special Equestria Girls thing. But this one is special. Like, I've never seen them do this before. And what I'm talking about is, uh, the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Best Gift Ever Christmas Special. And if you guys seen the San Diego Comic Con, uh, preview that they showed, uh, this was one of them. And, uh, the synopsis for this one is, uh, I'm gonna paraphrase it really, really fast because if I were to read the whole paragraph, it would be long. Heartwarming is coming to Ponyville. Families come together for a big holiday. The Pie family arrives at the Apple family farm. Apple Jack Rarity and Rainbow Dash are ready for their thing. But Princess Twilight is not because she has an OCD to take care of. Basically, her Crystal Empire family is coming down. And also she has to do with the school. And so she doesn't really have time to, well, prepare for celebrations. So if that, this DVD is, well, technically an exclusive, unless they show it on TV. But still, uh, this DVD is being pushed back a bit, but it's going to be pushed back to November 26th, which is not bad. I mean, this is one of your uh, Christmas gift that you can give to your brony friends or yourself, because it's around in November, so... You can consider it as a Christmas gift. Yes. And also the cover art is cute with the ponies being all dolled up with Christmassy stuff. Yes. So uh, let's see how much this is because there's an Amazon listing. And why are you giving me in pounds? Because this is in pounds. Uh, give me a second. But so anywho, um, it's 12, well technically it's 13 pounds, but in dollars, ha. Huh. Okay, this doesn't really explain a thing because... Oh, it could be because of the region lock. Wow. 
great job, Amazon. Don't think it's going to be... No, no, no. Um, it seems that it's not in Amazon US. That sucks. So yeah, no comments. <laughs> so anywho, that's the news for this week. Sorry guys for the super, super slow news week and really short one. Um, there's not a lot of really interesting news unless you play the Game Loft games. And I, I don't anymore. I'm not sure you guys do, but so I'll cover it for a bit. Like, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, if you guys do still play the Game Loft game, they kind of do the whole comic book storyline now in terms of what they introduce. And right now, they're introducing Siege of the Crystal Empire. That's the one where King Sombra returns and he... What is it now? Yeah, he returns and becomes good, I think. I don't know. Technically, it's not canon anymore. So, it's really confusing. So, yeah, there's that. So, yeah. Uh, if you do still play the game, it's all there. Woo! Awesomeness. So, anywho, uh, that's the news for this week. And... Let's go on to my favorite topic, and that is what have I been doing with my week. And what I have been doing with my week is, well, technically nothing much. I've just been playing a lot of the Overwatch and a lot of, well, I won't say a lot of magic. Um, in all honesty, I'm not feeling too well right now, and I'm not 100% sure if this episode is going to come out live on the time that it should come out so i'm a bit iffy on the whole situation right now so probably if you're listening to this late well now you know i'm not well and i may have to visit the hospital and well i could probably post this on the hospital internet and whatnot but oh man let's let's just say that i'm a bit miffed right now with what I can and can't do. So, yeah, um, another reason for the solo episode is for me to kind of edit this one ASAP and get things ready as fast as possible. Other than that, I'm not 100% sure. Play Overwatch, Magic the Gathering, and watch some movies, I guess. Uh, what have I been watching? Well, besides the... Huh, honestly, I can't remember... Well, I do know that I've watched some animes, um, Boruto, the next gen, Naruto, the next generation. So yeah, yeah, I've been watching that, and also Overlord season three. Yeah, that's well, that's a thing. And other than that, nothing much. Uh, Western cartoons are there, but not much. So yeah, um, sorry for the very very um, short episode, but. Eh, I'm at least giving you guys something. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the mbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And switch to radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on ponylive.com. Also, please do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and also Sapphire Heart Song reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and also movies. In addition, we also like to review other things like Miraculous Ladybug, DuckTales, Batman, and even some movies. For example, the movies that we reviewed before was, well, here's a new one. Pokemon the third movie, Legend of the Unknown or Spell of the Unknown. I, I don't know what it's called because I, I remember it was Pokemon 3 with the legendary Pokemon Entei. Yes. So uh, there's that. So if you like to go and check that out, they'll be on the iTunes and also Stitcher Radio. If you're listening to this on the YouTubes, well, it's also here too. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Master of Lag, Jeffrey, Tristan, Lurker Cat, 
Charles, Starstream, Lucky Knight, and also Amy. Thank you guys so much for the awesome support. So anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the NBA show. See ya!